Thank you, Co-Chair Noble. Um, so committee, you'll note that I only included one of the recommended safety measures in my motion, and um, the committee might choose to disagree with me here, but I wanna take a second to talk about my rationale and, and why I did that. Um, you know, I think uh, as I, in my question to Ms. Ryan, I noted that when interim safety measures are imposed on a legislator, they have to be to address immediate safety concerns and be narrowly tailored to minimize limitations on a member's ability to do their job. Um, and I, the interim safety measures are not intended to be punitive. Um, I feel like I've said that many times in my position as, as co-chair of this committee, they are not intended to be punitive. And I just think that removing someone's chairship, um, the committee recommending that the speaker remove someone's chairship does potentially verge on the punitive. Um, and I, 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 I respect Rep Witt's testimony today. And um, if he does, if he wants to voluntarily step down temporarily, you know, I would support that. Um, I just am not sure that I can get comfortable with the committee recommending that action as a safety measure before the investigation is complete and, and the reports have been issued. Um, but I, I would welcome the discussion. And um, if the committee dis disagrees with me, we can take Um, Co-chair Noble, thank you. I, I, this is this is a tricky a tricky situation for sure. Um, and I think I guess in my mind the the no contact or order could potentially cover a situation where even in committee, you know, there wouldn't be interaction. So it, I think that would a no contact order would cover speaking with someone, you know, texting them, emailing them, um, you know, potentially even direct dialogue in committee, although that that would be an issue whether or not someone was chair. So um, I think this is a challenging line to walk. I, you know, I look at the what is actually needed to address immediate safety concerns, not just discomfort. Um, and you know, this line of not interfering with someone's ability to do their core legislative work. Um, this is a, this is a, it's a tricky one. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chair and uh, uh, Chair Fahey as well. Um, I really appreciate you outlining that very thin line that we're, we're talking about here. And I think that were we not in uh, pandemic mode and online, I might think differently of it. Uh, but we are, uh, we are online, you know, we're online for all of these meetings. I, you know, I, I think that, I, and, I, and I can appreciate very much that the recommendation of removing someone from their chairship does feel a little bit punitive for sure. So I am comfortable with your motion. 